Welcome to Geek This Net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw an involute curve inside of LibraCAD. To begin, let's create a circle. I'm going to use the command line and type circle, set the center at 0, 0, and the radius of 1. I'm going to double click my middle mouse button to zoom in. Next, we need to draw a line. I'm going to hit escape, go to the command line and type line. The first point has to be the midpoint of the circle. If you don't know what this is, I recommend going to widgets, toolbars, and enabling snap selection. In the snap selection toolbar, there's going to be an option for snap center. Enable that, go to a two point line, and you're going to snap to the center of the curve that you made. Next, you need to draw an orthogonal line either at 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees. The best way to do this, if you don't know the coordinates, is to enable Snap on Entity and enable the Restrict Orthogonal method. So I'm going to set it at to the left. Next, we need to draw a vertical line tangent to the center line that we just drew. But this has to be a very specific dimension. It has to be 1 20th of the radius of the circle. So the radius of our circle is 1. If you don't know the radius, I recommend going to distance point to point. Gonna disable those. Enable snap on endpoint. And we see that the distance is 1, which will be our radius. So the radius is 1. I'm going to do 1 divided by 20, which is 0 0.05. I'm going to create a new line from the end of the center line I'm going to make a relative by using the at symbol, followed by the coordinates of 0 on the x-axis, 0 0.05 on the y. Now, this line is going to be difficult to see unless you zoom in. The next thing we have to do is duplicate this line and rotate it from the center point. So select the center line and the tangent line. Go to Tools. Modify. Move and Rotate. On the command line, you'll see Specify Reference Point, which is going to be the midpoint of the curve. Specify Target Point, which is also going to be the midpoint of the curve. In this new dialog, you're going to make multiple copies. The number of copies you make depends on how long you want the curve to be. I'm going to stick with 10 for this tutorial. Now the angle has to follow this equation that I'm going to show on the screen. For me, the angle is 2.8647, so on and so forth. Once you do that, hit OK. You're going to get all of these new lines from the center point. We now have to lengthen the tangent line from all of these lines to be the line number times the initial length of the tangent line. So our tangent line, let's say our tangent line is 1. This is line 0, this is line 1, this is line 2. So we'll do 1 times 0 for that one, 1 times 1, 1 times 2, and so forth. To do this, go to Tools, Modify, Lengthen. Now our length is actually 0 0.05. There's two ways you can do this. You can set the length and keep this checkbox unchecked. For each number, for the number line, you'll click the tangent line that many times. Since this is line 1, we will click this n minus 1 times, which is 0. For this, we'll click it once. The next one, we'll click twice. Three times. And so on. A different way to do this is go to Tools, Modify, Lengthen. Hit the checkbox, and you'll specify the new length of each line, increasing by this number. So the first line is going to be 0. Next one is going to be 0 .0, 0 0.05. 0 0.1. 0 0.15. 0 0.2. And continue doing this. Once you have all of those line, all the tangent lines lengthened, Go to the line tool, create two point line, 
and starting from the initial center line that we made. Enable snap on endpoint and draw a line connecting all of the new tangents. And that is your invalid curve. You can now delete the center lines and all of these reference lines. Now, it's very small because I used quite a large initial circle and didn't create a lot of reference lines. Once you get a hang of this, it should only take a few minutes, but that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.